In this video, we're going to explain the relationship between one-sided and two-sided limits. It says for the function f of x, uh, which they give us a piecewise function here, where x is less than negative 2 and for the top function and x is greater than or equal to negative 2 for the bottom function, evaluate the left and right-hand limits using the table below. So we're approaching this x value of negative 2 from the left side, right? We're starting with the smaller numbers and approaching it from the left side. This is the left-hand limit. And that's what this is telling you here when it says uh, x approach negative 2 from the, they have a negative sign, that means from the left. So this is the left-hand limit. And the other side would be the right-hand limit because these values are bigger than negative 2. And so we're going to call this the right-hand limit. And the left-hand limit is equal to negative 20 because we're getting closer and closer to negative 20 as we reduce the x value or sorry, as we increase the x value, because this is the left-hand limit. And as we reduce this uh, value here, this right-hand limit here, um, we're getting closer and closer to negative 2 from the right. We are getting negative 20. Now what that tells you is, because both left-hand and right-hand limits are equaling negative 20 for their limits, the limit overall as x approaches to negative 2 also equals negative 20. So if both the left-hand limit and the right-hand limit approach the same number, the overall limit will approach that number as well. 